Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Newton and this is the Melhores Seu Inglês Podcast. Hello everyone, so in this week's episode we are going to study can, could and be able to. We use can to say that something is possible or allowed, or that somebody has the ability to do something. We use can plus infinitive, for example, can do, can see, can work, etc. For example, we can see the lake from our bedroom window. We can see the lake from our bedroom window. I haven't got a pen. You can use mine. I haven't got a pen. You can use mine. Can you speak any foreign languages? Can you speak any foreign languages? I can come and see you tomorrow if you like. I can come and see you tomorrow if you like. The word play can be a noun or a verb. The word play can be a noun or a verb. The negative is can't or cannot. I'm afraid I can't come to the party on Friday. I'm afraid I can't come to the party on Friday. You can say that somebody is able to do something, but can is more usual. For example, we are able to see the lake from our bedroom window. We are able to see the lake from our bedroom window, or we can see the lake from our bedroom window. This is more usual. But can has only two forms, can in the present and could in the past. So sometimes it is necessary to use be able to. So let's compare. I can't sleep or I haven't been able to sleep recently. Tom can come tomorrow. Tom might be able to come tomorrow. Maria can speak French, Spanish, and English. Applicants for the job must be able to speak two foreign languages. Could. Sometimes could is the past of can. We use could especially with see, could see, hear, could hear, smell, could smell, taste, could taste, feel, could feel, remember, could remember, understand, could understand. We had a lovely room in the hotel. We could see the lake. We had a lovely room in the hotel. We could see the lake. As soon as I walked into the room, I could smell gas. As soon as I walked into the room, I could smell gas. I was sitting at the back of the theater and couldn't hear very well. I was sitting in the back at the back of the theater and couldn't hear very well. We also use could to say that something had the general ability or permission to do something. For example, my grandfather could speak five languages. We were my grandfather could speak five languages. We were totally free. We could do what we wanted. We were totally free. We could do what we wanted which is the same as what we were allowed to do. Could and was able to. We use could for general ability. But if you want to say that something did something in a specific situa situation, use was or were able to, was able to, were able to, or managed to, but never use could in this way. The fire spread through the building very quickly, but fortunately, everybody was able to escape. The fire spread through the building very quickly, but fortunately, everybody managed to, es to escape. And you cannot say here, could escape. We didn't know where David was, but we managed to find him in the end. We didn't know where David was, but we were able to find him in the end. Never use in this situation could find. So now let's compare. Mike was an excellent tennis player when he was younger. He could beat anybody. 
is the same as he had the general ability to beat anybody. But Mike and Pete played tennis yesterday. Pete played very well, but Mike managed to beat him. In other words, he managed to beat him in this particular game. The negative couldn't or could not is possible in all situations. My grandfather couldn't swim. We looked for David everywhere, but we couldn't find him. Pete played well, but he couldn't beat Mike. And that was this week's episode. And this was the Melhor em Seu Inglês podcast. Para aulas de inglês por Skype, focadas em conversação, individuais, personalizadas e para todos os níveis, basta entrar em contato comigo ou com a professora Erika nos nossos sites Melhor em Seu Inglês Instagram, Melhor em Seu Inglês Facebook e o blog Melhor em Seu Inglês.wordpress.com ou nos contate diretamente no WhatsApp 31991437388. 31 91437388 Keep studying and improve your English!